came up totally 100% independent, no investor, no label. I signed the Bird, Bird Man in 2018 or 2017, right? But I ain't had to do that. Like, I ain't had to take that little petty ass money. Like, shout out to, shout out to Stunner, though. Like, I fuck with Stunner Mental. I fuck with Slim and Stunner Mental, right? But I ain't had to do that petty ass shit. My lawyer told me that um, he suggested this. I had every label in the game trying to get down and throw me a contract. But I was 100% independent. My first show I ever did, I put out a, a few singles that I put out a tape. And the first show I ever did was uh, 4,500. And it was in Mississippi. That's why I fought with Mississippi. Mississippi was the first city that booked me. Feel me? So I drove down to Mississippi, collected that little 4,500. I probably spent 2,500 on my clothes. I had two racks left on my back end. I gave that motherfucker to the gang, you feel me, just for coming and got down, watching the nigga. I ain't had to make no profit. I was already eating. All that shit I was rapping about on that first mixtape, Black Circle. Black Circle 2, I was up. You feel me? I was up. I say about realistically, I had a, a solid 250 racks. So I had a solid 250, 250 racks, and it never went nowhere. You feel me? Like, it stayed at 250. You know how some niggas be worth like 250, but that's it. It ain't nothing coming in. It's only going out and bounce up and down. I had a shot of 250. What I do with money is if I'm worth if I'm worth 1.5 million, I'm gonna keep that solid 1.5. I'm gonna keep that two or that 2.5. You feel me? It's gonna stay at that and I only spend what comes in. That 2.5, I might invest some, play with some of that shit, this, that, the. But I'm gonna do a show for a 30. You feel me? And, and pay my bills with that, go get some ice with that, you feel me? Or, or book two more shows, but on some real shit, like some of these country ass cities. Like, I fuck with the country ass city, like, let, let's get it clear, but I'm not I'm not going down there no more because I don't feel like dealing with petty ass police. Like, police is so thirsty, riding through, uh, when you come from Texas, going through some of these country ass Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, where police is thirsty as fuck. Just trying to find a nigga with some goddamn exotic. And you can't even smoke no good Zion peace. You feel me? So why the fuck am I even risking my freedom anymore going to some of these goddamn petty? I ain't gonna say petty, um, but going through some of these petty ass police cities. You feel me? So I'm not even doing that shit no more. You feel me? Like, if, if, if some of these venues, the ones I already booked, because they done paid me so much. I'm an honor. You feel me? But I ain't got time to be wasting my time catching extra misdemeanors and felonies going through these goddamn, um, these country ass cities. Because on some real shit, I got more felonies. And, and I got more charges going right now, going to shows, being legit as a rapper than when I was in the streets. You get what I'm saying? And now all my niggas got charges. It's always 10000 for a lawyer. Twenty dollar for a lawyer. Nigga, my barber, my the nigga who used to cut my hair, nigga, he did a whole year for a pistol charge and some loud. You feel me? Like, so the shit is just petty to me. Some of these these cities is petty. Police is petty. I don't feel like fucking with police. That why I bought some land in the country so I could just be on my shit. I ain't gotta go nowhere. You feel me? Like, I don't want no police interaction. You feel me? Cause, cause when they come down to it. When you get into it with 12, niggas ain't gonna help you out. Niggas gonna bow down. Niggas gonna put their head down. Nigga, your partner, when you get into it with 12, nigga, 12 will be beating you to death. And your partner with you, he'll put his head down and just record on his phone talking about why they doing that. You feel me? So you gotta think about shit like that. You feel me? So it ain't it ain't on no scary shit or nothing like that, but I ain't got time for that shit. You can't smoke without it in peace. And, and one thing about me is I'm a powerful individual. Like, like, some other rappers influence more than me, but I influence. I influence niggas to be successful. You get what I'm saying? I don't influence niggas to crash out. I influence niggas to be successful, so I'm a powerful person. You get what I'm saying? Not no, not on no big headed shit. I motivate niggas to get real money. You get what I'm saying? I create hundred thousand dollars. I create millionaires. I show niggas about credit through my music. You get what I'm saying? I show niggas about credit, how, to, how when you young, how when you 15, you 16, and you 17, my shit going in your head, it sound like all that bullshit niggas talk about, but it's beating in real shit in your head on how to be a real money nigga. 
first week we start credit, then we go in and get a race car. Other niggas will tell you uh, credit for lame, credit for simps. You get what I'm saying? Credit for lame ass niggas, you supposed to cash out. I'm showing you how you supposed to build your credit up. And by the time you're 21, you a goddamn real get money nigga, you feel me? Your credit up, you feel me, goddamn? You ain't crashed out yet. You done avoided all, all them else. Remember niggas were telling y'all it's cool to have feelings. Remember niggas were telling y'all it's lame as fuck. If you got a legal fight, you feel me? So what I do is my shit, my shit sounds just like all the other niggas shit, but the shit that it beat into your head is really shit that's gonna make you a goddamn you know, hundred thousand dollar million dollar nigga business credit. You feel me? So it's a difference over this way. I, I'm real, I'm a real influence. So them folks gonna take me. What they gonna do is they gonna try they all to take me down. You know what I'm saying? They got to. They got to got down, put else on my got down report card. You know what I'm saying? They got to got down, blemish my reputation. So I really can't be putting myself in position in, these, in certain spots like that no more. You know what I'm saying? Like before, before we got legal in all these places, I was telling niggas to grow. You feel me? Like, fuck all them got down other folks who trying to got down sell it to you and all this and that. Got down, start to grow. Fuck 